Hello once again and welcome. The title of today's short teaching is We Are Comforted. The scripture is 2 Corinthians, the second letter to the church in Corinth, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. And this verse is going to tell us that there is a purpose to our lives. And I believe this is just one example of the way this process works. Let me read you the scripture. Blessed be the, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. This gives us two sides of a very important process. First of all, when we have trouble, when we have sorrow, when we have something that is very difficult for us to handle. When this happens, this scripture says we receive consolation, comfort, and consoling from God. So that's a, a very important thing to know. When you're going through a trouble, when you're going through a problem or a sorrow, the place to turn is to divinity. Turn our hearts to the Holy One, to the Divine One, the one with power to console us, the one who always cares for us. And we have here a promise that we do receive consolation. We receive it freely because we need it in those times. But if you ever thought that those things that you go through were wasted, we come to the second part of this uh, process, which says that you receive consolation. So when you come up uh, against or across someone else who needs the same thing, you are able to console them with the consolation that you received from God when you were in trouble, when you needed it. So receiving consolation not only helps us and comforts us, but it also prepares us so that when the time comes and there's someone else who needs to be comforted, we know how it feels to need comfort. We know what it means to need comfort. And we know how precious it is to receive consol consoling. And so uh, God has equipped us through our own experience so that we will be able, when the time comes, to fulfill part of our purpose in life. So if you ever thought you were not important, please know that each thing that happens to you, even though it may seem to be troublesome and why is this happening to me and this isn't fair, this should not be happening. As you go through it, turn to the Divine One, receive consolation from the Holy God from the Lord of hosts, and then watch for an opportunity to share this goodness with somebody else 
You are important in this process. It can't happen without us. So be consoled today. Know today that you do have a purpose in life. And it's very important part of doing the work of the kingdom of God is to share the consolation of God with those in need. I hope you can join with me again tomorrow and we'll look at another scripture. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day.